If I could have asked for one big favor before moving to London, it would have been a non-sarcastic British friend telling me, Hello, young, ignorant, American-English speaking peasant. Let me help you with the correct pronunciation of place names you will inevitably get wrong when you move here. Just so you make a little bit less of a fool of yourself. And you can probably tell that didn't happen because non-sarcastic British people don't exist. And that was my shit attempt at banter. I have to fend for myself, but through my pain, sweat, tears, and a lot of passive aggressive, I'm so sorry, sir. Could you kindly repeat that? I can spare you a lot of time and some very awkward moments. Also, there is a little bonus tip at the end that will really help you out. Thames River? No, it's the River Thames, and it's very important because Londoners are basically defined based on which side of it they live on. Islington, we get it, your culture, you know French, but forget it, it's Islington. Chiswick? Nope, also no, it's just Chiswick. Forget the W, same goes for Southwark, Warwick Avenue, and Greenwich, which you don't really have an excuse for, it's pronounced the exact same way in New York City. Gloucester Road and Leicester Square, which are just pronounced Gloucester and Leicester. Don't ask questions. We just swiftly move on to Holborn. No, not Holborn, just Hoban or Hoburn, which is forgivable if you're North American, just for the love of God, drop the L. Good Street. No, there's nothing good about it. It's Googe Street, and it might as well be called Upper Tottenham Court Road, which is also wrong because it's Tottenham Court Road. Tottenham. Okay, now I'm getting uncomfortable because it seems like even Londoners don't know how to pronounce this one. Mary Lebone. Obviously, it's not Mary Lebone. Why would it be? It's Marlebone or Marlebone. Or maybe even Marleybone. But the good news is, if you don't pronounce Mary, you should be fine with this one. Maida Vale is Maida Vale. And Rui Slip is Rice Lip. Yes, exactly like the word rice. There is an I in there, so it's not Rustlip either. I don't know, you guys, but when you thought that the only differences between British English and American English were those added U's in some places and changing Z's to S's at the end of Words, this is all very disheartening. Oh, I'm supposed to say this one? Houston? Houston? Wrong and wrong, it's Houston. And this doesn't even go into the more obscure places in London that you probably won't come across, like Vauxhall, Faden Boys, and Clapham. Which actually leads me on to the bonus tip. British English place names have a lot of hams in them as well, which are pronounced completely normally if they're at the beginning of a word, like Hampstead or Hammersmith, or even when they're on their own, like West Ham. But you're not gonna get away that easily, this is London we're talking about. They change when they're at the end of a word, but they pretty much follow the same trend. So now hopefully you won't get confused when you see Buckingham Palace, Tottenham Court Road, Fulham Broadway, or even Clapham Common, which are actually pronounced Buckingham, Tottenham, Fulham, and Clapham. Thank me later. If you want to see a part two, leave it in the comments below and smash that like button if you learned a thing or two. My name is Foco Films and I post videos every Sunday, so hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to see more of my face every week. I'm also active on Instagram and Twitter when I'm not posting on YouTube, so definitely follow me on those. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next week. Ciao.